Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are doing something a little differently and we're looking at a book that's not a comic book related book, but it has something to do with something very near and dear to my heart, Lady Gaga. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here's this great uh, coffee table Lady Gaga book. Uh, Lady Gaga and Terry Richardson, the photographer, collaborated on this. And it's very controversial because Terry Richardson is kind of a big pervert. And uh, he directed her uh, Do What You Want With My Body video that he and, uh, or that she collaborated with R. Kelly on Dedicated to My Little Monsters. And uh, so that never was released. You can find it on YouTube, but it's, it's pretty um, perverted and sick. Here's some great photos of her. Um, you know, Lady Gaga never disappoints when it comes to costumes and different photo shoots and things like that. So this is a fun book to look at. Um, I'm a huge fan of Lady Gaga. Terry Richardson, um, if you look at a lot of his photo shoots, you can see a lot of uh, his uh, sort of tastes, I'll say, running through them. Um, he likes to get celebrities uh, to drop their clothes. Here's a bunch of fun outfits from Lady Gaga's uh, over the years. Um, there she is, there they are together again. She's collaborated with so many people, so many names, so many high fashion, high photographers. Just, you know, when you're Lady Gaga, you can write your own ticket and basically do whatever you want. Do whatever you want, do whatever you want. Um, what's that? Um, bookmark. I must have, I must have not finished the book. Um, yeah, I, it, I didn't, it took me a hot minute to warm up to Lady Gaga because I was like, oh yeah, who is this, whatever. But then once I heard her, I was just like instantly in love. Boy, can I relate to having my hair bleached. Um, hanging out on the balcony with a cigarette and a shower cap. I mean, what is it, Thursday afternoon? Um, I just love her music. I love her. I think she's really good with her fans. Ellen, ugh. Um, the infamous meat dress, and infamous meat dress, so disgusting. As a lapsed vegetarian, I can barely eat meat, let alone look at it, but I do. One of these days, I'll get back on that. Um, Lady Gaga and Cher, how cool is that? Cher looks exactly like she did 400 years ago before she wore that out for the first time. Um, you know, Lady Gaga just seems very uh, real and grateful and down to earth. I mean, she definitely has her, you know, look at me needy self, but hey, she's a celebrity. I mean, goes goes with the territory, right? This book is huge. There they are praying before something. It's nice to see pop stars praying, <laughs> bring a little church to the stage when you come out to play the piano in a leather bra and panties. Um, so many looks. You know, it's funny because people compare Lady Gaga and Madonna and um, I'm a huge, first of all, diehard Madonna fan, but you know, she seems like she doesn't do that much these days. So Lady Gaga is always giving me something new to latch onto the latest album, uh, uh, Chromatica. Too bad it had to come out during this difficult times. Paul Stanley Kiss Eyes there. But, you know, because it's really, you know, given me motivation to dance in my bedroom under lock, stock, and Lady Gaga. <laughs> what a nice coffee cup with pretty little flowers on it, and this is whore. Lady Gaga, she's so political standing in front of the flag and saying political things, trying to get us to vote and not hate. So she has a good message, you know. I mean, I think she definitely uh, you know, was there for a lot of uh, 
people who didn't feel like there was anyone there for them, if that makes sense in any way. Just kind of rambling because this book is so huge, but I do love all these looks. I'm looking for some, oh, there's the egg, the infamous egg that she, I think that's the egg that she, yep, there it is, that she was delivered in the Grammys and she sang Born This Way when she popped out in her latex dress and her um, body modification with the shoulders. Kind of weird, but in the facial thing there. I like that she is so pop, but so, you know, not at the same time with her aesthetic. As a matter of fact, you know, I think that uh, she lost her first contract because she was so different and then she kind of sold out. But it's funny because I, I feel like her career sort of parallels Madonna, but she sort of condensed it and she did in five years what Madonna did in 25 years. I'm not saying that that's better because it's faster. I just think, you know, she had a, she had a, a, a roadmap, like a triple A triptych in front of her on how to have a successful pop career. These are some crazy outfits. Like, I dressed kind of crazy when I was a teen. Um, I cringe when I think of some of the outfits I used to wear, thank God. That was before cell phones and there's not much evidence of that. But, um, she seems to know what she wants. <laughs> and isn't afraid to do it. I've seen her in concert a couple of times and I have to say it's one of the better concerts I've seen. Um, she's very engaging with the audience. Like I said before, she's, I love her relationship with her fans. A little yoga action. Gotta stay in shape when you're like the most famous woman on the planet. She has to be one of the most famous women on the planet, correct? So I don't know what the availability of this book is, like how easy it is to find, how many they made, but um, it was a present to me because I love Lady Gaga so much. And thank you, Scott. Um, funny to see Lady Gaga bowling like that, but I love these sort of handed shots. That's gross. Um, See, anyone can be a little monster. All you need to do is just put your paws up. Pervert, pig. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's not go there, all right? Um, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Paul McCartney, Liza Minnelli. Mama. Um, oh, uh, Marissa Tomei. I love Marissa Tomei. The Little Monster Diary. Glitter and Guts. That should be the name of her, uh, her autobiography. Or I could write a biography about her. See, I know everything about her, clearly. More blood. It's with all the blood, Lady Gaga. That's kind of weird. I don't even want to know what that is, but is it a hole in her bra? Oh, that's a cool helmet. People just send her all kinds of stuff and they design things for her. And I just, hopefully she saves everything. She's eating carbs because she's eating pasta because she's Italian. Um, I was a little monster in my day. Killer shape, my God, look at those abs. You know, I've never been a fan of the whole grab, grabbing a crotch thing. I just always, it's like when somebody gets their picture flipping the bird, I'm just like, whatever. Oh, you're so punk rock. Born this way. Yes, she definitely puts on a great concert. If you, there's a Netflix, uh, documentary called uh, Five Foot Two featuring Lady Gaga. I'm sure you've all seen it if you're watching this because only a, a diehard fan would watch <laughs> this video that you're watching right now. Um, had so much blood. 
poor Gaga, what happened? Anyway, so that is the Lady Gaga, Terry Richardson coffee table book. Um, oh, it is a heavy little monster. See what I did there? Anyway, thanks for joining me for this uh, trip outside of the comic book universe and a glimpse into one of my other favorite universes, the Lady Gaga universe. So please hit like, hit subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks, guys.